Virgo. Hi, Virgo. How are you? I'm your fellow Virgo, and shall I thank you for all your likes, shares, and subscribes, Virgo? I most certainly appreciate you, and I thank you for rocking with a girl like me. General, not personal. Take what resonates, Virgo, and if you feel like something does not resonate, fine by me. Leave it behind. It might not be for you. Okay, so Virgo, you may have to go to the courthouse. Okay, I'm getting something about the courthouse, Virgo. Some of you could have to go to the courthouse. There's something about the courthouse. I don't know if you work there. Maybe you just got like a speeding ticket or maybe you have something in regards to your home that you had to take care of. But I do see this energy of the courts popping up. Virgo, be careful if you're driving, okay? Make sure that you're not going like too... Um, too far over the speed limit okay as i don't know if there's someone that's wanting to pull you over make sure your children are in seat belts just make sure everything is good with your car and like up to date with your information i don't know if there's something going on with the courts but like i said i do see this courthouse energy and you have poverty okay so virgo you may feel like you're needing more coins for something you're wanting more money again like i said it just kind of feels like with this poverty energy okay there's something where maybe you're trying to pay off some type of bill or again maybe you feel like someone has taken something from you or maybe you feel like someone around you is just inconsiderate or there could be something you have to pay for it's quite expensive Okay, for some of you, because it looks like you are taken care of, you had what you need, but there's something else for some of you, okay? You could just be wanting more money, okay, Virgo? You could just be looking um, at maybe things you want to do, where you want to be, okay? How you want to move forward, but it seems like there's this change. It feels like there's been this movement, okay? And I'm also getting something about distant horizons, Virgo. Someone's at a distance from you. I'm not sure if you're in a long-distance relationship, okay? There could be someone traveling or, like, going on vacation, Virgo. But I'm getting this distant horizons energy. I'm getting a vacation. Someone could want to take you on vacation or uh, maybe you're packing your bags. You've already planned something, okay? Again, like I said, it just kind of feels like there's this energy of move or maybe someone likes you. Maybe you go to another another city, another state, and there's someone there, you know, that maybe you meet or maybe that's interested in you. And maybe you can't just, you know, because it's kind of far, you can't just go see them. You have to travel. But I'm getting maybe something about an opportunity that's at a distance because a lot of you, I'm getting like this plane energy. Someone's catching a plane, okay? So let's see, Virgo. What's the energy surrounding you? Okay, spirit, we're moving towards the tarot. So, spirit, what's the energy surrounding Virgo in tarot? And I thank you for rocking with a girl like me, Virgo. I most certainly appreciate you, and I hope you have a great day. Okay, so, so far, so good. All right, and one more. Okay, so Virgo, it kind of feels like right now you are in this energy of creativity. Um, I'm getting like improv. I don't know if you're an actress, an actor, okay? Maybe there's something that you're reading. I'm getting like some of you are going to be in a commercial or something about you having to remember a certain script. I'm not sure if you're being casted for something, okay? You could be going to a play, but I'm getting that there's something about the future that you're making plans for but it's exciting like if you're a guy you'll want to buy your outfit or make sure your hair is cut you know make sure you smell good for whatever this is you may actually have to spend money to be able to go to this but it looks like it's a fun thing um it looks like it's a great thing i see that if you're a feminine you may be wanting to get your makeup done you know you're buying an outfit you're looking really cute this could have to do with music this could have to do with like you going out maybe Maybe you're planning a girl's trip or a guy's trip, but I'm definitely seeing this energy of like freedom. It's like Virgo, maybe you are, because the page of wands, like getting back to the side of you that it's like, I see you going out. I see you having fun. Maybe you feel like at one point Virgo, you had to heal from some type of procedure or there could have been a situation that was making you feel like you were going backwards, making you feel like in regards to moving forward or in regards to, again, just your overall peace and happiness that it was a lot could have been having to take things day by day as well but again like i said i just see this energy of healing and resting and napping
sleeping. So it's like, Virgo, you could be getting more rest. You could be going to bed early. Not sure if that's today. Not sure if that's yesterday. But again, it kind of just feels like, Virgo, with that energy, it's like when you wake up, there could be an invitation. Or when you wake up, there's this thing that you think of. But I see that it makes you feel good. I definitely see a lot more traveling. Now, someone around you could be doing something or having some type of birthday party, gathering, or event that they're inviting you to. But it's like you go to sleep and then when you wake up, you feel different. Or when you wake up, you feel more inspired. Or again, Virgo, I see that you feel really good. I'm hearing the word calendar. So I guess, I don't know if this is your calendar, I'm assuming for November, may be very booked and may be very busy. I'm getting a busy calendar. Um, I'm also getting something about a trim. Is someone trimming their hair or lack thereof? Maybe you're deciding to trim your hair or you're deciding you're not going to be trimming your hair or you don't like the way someone trimmed your hair. Maybe you feel like they were scissor happy. They cut a little too much. Okay, I'm also getting that there's something that's healing as well. Yeah, I don't know. This could be you. Something you're focused on with your health. Okay, yes, Virgo. Also something about tennis shoes. You could be exercising or a bit more physically active. Okay, but like I said, I'm just seeing these lots of like positive energy surrounding you. And, and again, moving forward, I don't know if you've been, again, like not feeling well, Virgo, or if you've been like just, I don't know, something about your health. But it does look like you're resting. It does look like you're healing. It does look like you are recovering. Okay, again, like I said, Virgo, yes. Mm -hmm. you're definitely healing you're definitely recovering it just kind of feels like with this energy virgo you have removed yourself from someone you have people looking for you virgo the more you rest the more you heal the more you have people looking for you the only thing about this is virgo is you can't figure out what happened or maybe they can't figure out what happened but it seems like you've removed yourself from a, a group or again you're in this different energy and whatever this energy is virgo you have people trying to figure out where you are what happened but it's something about it that's disrupting your vibrations okay i'm getting something about this energy that seems to be disruptive to your spirit um again it kind of makes you not want to be bothered with this it kind of makes you not want to be around this energy virgo not want to put up with this i don't know what they're saying or exactly what they're doing that's making you upset but there's a group of people i don't know if you feel like you can't trust them okay since you have the seven of swords but i see that you either have left them or you have removed yourself from them and in removing yourself from them Virgo they're definitely thinking about you and removing yourself from them it kind of seems like they're popping back up okay it kind of feels like they're popping back up it kind of feels like again there are things that's happening where you are coming to mind now they're coming towards you okay again like i said you definitely have someone coming towards you or trying to figure out what happens i'm not sure if these people have a crush on you virgo or these people seem to love you or like you it could have to do with the knight of cups okay all right so it's like you're healing you're focusing on yourself getting yourself together the things around you are improving the things around you are growing virgo but then you have this particular group or these particular people that again you kind of figure or feel like you don't belong around them or it's just something about your energy that makes them questionable something about i'm sorry something about their energy that makes them questionable that makes you just feel like mm -mm, you know that just makes you feel like you don't want to go down this path yeah there's something about it Virgo you've removed yourself from someone whoever this is seems to love you seems to care about you seems to have a lot of emotions for you but with the knight of cups reversed Virgo it kind of seems like you don't want any parts you're not interested in this because you're moving towards something else you're not interested in this because you are going in a different direction again this ace of pentacles you don't want this yeah you don't want this because there's something else that's being offered to you spirit clarify so someone's reaching out to you or emailing you calling you looking for you Virgo in some way what does this have to do with the four of wands okay what does this have to do with because you're you don't want any parts you don't want to be bothered one more before I say what I'm about to say Exactly. Exactly. 
I don't like the energy because what's happening is it's like you're removing yourself. You don't want to be bothered. But there's someone that's moving towards you because the four of wands, because of a celebration, because of a good time. They want something to manifest with you. Uh, they want to move forward with you in some way. But the Ace of Swords, um, I don't know if they want to be your friend, Virgo. They need you in some way. This is giving a weird energy spirit. Clarify. It's like... You left someone behind? Because the Ace of Swords, right? You're you're in your own world. You're like, nope. Not going backwards. Ooh, girl, you saw that. Not settling. It is what it is. I'm moving forward. I'm focusing on me. Focusing on my happiness. On what fulfills me. On what brings me balance. I see you stepping outside of your comfort zone to do something new. But you've left this behind because it triggers you. You want to be left alone. And it feels like this energy comes toward you, Virgo. One second. But again, it feels like the energy comes toward you, Virgo. The way this comes towards you is because they want to get some type of information from you. Or they were having a good time. I'm really trying to interpret all of this, Virgo. So give me a minute. You removed yourself from them, right? But this is a whole group of people. This is more than one. Oh, my goodness. Okay, it's starting to make sense. So, Virgo, you removed yourself. Here is these two people or three people um, that are in cahoots together. They hang together. They they go out together. And they had this idea to manifest something, right? And now they feel that the only way that they can manifest this is if you are around. They feel like the only way that you can or they can manifest this is if you help them in some way. Okay, it's like this really sneaky energy virgo you actually it's triggering to you for some reason this is actually very very triggering to you you want to be left alone when this happens it triggers you it makes you have anxiety it makes your heart drop this makes your heart drop this situation unexpectedly made your heart drop uh you set some boundaries though so even though it could have made you feel the type of way you was just like it is what it is again this queen of swords again i see you put these boundaries into place i don't know if you're hurting someone's feelings virgo you could be a little guarded okay setting boundaries okay it's like you mean business there's this like very stern energy surrounding you okay i'm giving you could be giving like resting b word face okay but there's like this very stern energy surrounding you this very strict energy surrounding you again with this queen of swords it just kind of feels like you're not letting them in whoever this is you're not allowing them to come in no you're actually stepping outside of your comfort zone to do something else why isn't virgo, virgo letting them in i'm sorry why is virgo not letting them in because there's something that you happened i'm sorry there's something that happened there's something that you saw that that made you feel like mm -mm. Yeah, it made you feel like no. It made you feel like no, no, and more no. So, Virgo, we're going to look more into this over on Patreon. We're going to see exactly what happened, what you can expect out of this situation, and just the overall energy moving forward. I also had this really special thing going on with my readings over on Patreon, but I don't want to say it here. So, you have to come over to Patreon to see. And, Virgo, it is no longer free to sign up because... You give people an itch and they love to take a mile. So I'm not going to hold you from about the other day forward. It's no longer free, baby. You got to pay to play. Okay. But with that being said, Virgo, I thank you so much for rocking with a girl like me. I will see you over on Patreon in a few minutes. I appreciate you and God bless.